Good morning, friends. My name is Yogi Aaron. Welcome to my beautiful practice space. This morning, I'm gonna go through a little routine to help you develop more flexibility. Now, as most of you know, I don't teach stretching. What I do teach is how to improve muscle function. And once you improve muscle function, you improve your mobility. So let's dive in and start to improve the mobility of our body. Just before you start, just take a moment just to feel or notice how you feel as you wake up this morning. And just, yeah, just notice where there's some creaks and aches or pains or stiffness. And let's get to work on solving that, okay? So begin, I want you to bring your feet wide apart. Inhale deeply, exhale, bring your left shoulder towards your left hip bone. Inhale back up, exhale back over. Good. Inhale back up and exhale back over. This time take your left hand, reach to the right, palm up. Bring the other hand, reach up, not over, just up, up, up. And then take the left shoulder a little closer and inhale back up. And exhale this time right shoulder to right hip. Inhale back up and exhale back over. Now we're starting to activate our external oblique muscles, a little bit into the transverse abdominis, and exhale. And this time take your right palm, reach to the left. Bring the other hand, reach up to the sky. Very good. Keep reaching up, keep squeezing that right shoulder to the right hip bone. And then come on back up. Good. Inhale, bring the arms, reach up to the sky. Now, keep your body in one line here. So if you notice my body, it's in one line, and I'm just pushing the arm bones back, and then lower the arms down. Inhale, bring the arms, reach up. Good, keep the body in one line. The emphasis here is to press the biceps behind the ears. We're actually getting into the serratus anterior which really plays a huge role in arm extension and stabilizing the shoulder blades through different ranges of motion. A lot of stiffness is related to the body protecting itself. So if we can start to address some of the stiffness through getting the muscles to work, then we can start to improve different ranges of motion. Very good, now this time we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna bring the arms at 45 degrees. So bring the arms to about 45 degrees and exhale. Good, inhale. If you do these exercises every day, you're really gonna to start to mitigate the effects, the negative effects of working out in the gym. Because many of us don't actually prepare properly to work out. Doing these little muscle activation exercises will start to get those muscles working and as you begin to do your workouts, you have more accountability, meaning that you have more muscles in the game. So bring the arms now to the sides. Internally rotate the arms. Bring the arms up and forward. And then at the last point, you reach tissue tension. So some of you might only be here, some of you might be here. Shrug the shoulders, and this starts to get into the upper traps. Really hard muscle, actually, to get into properly and then exhale down. Internally rotate, bring the arms up, and then shrug the shoulders. Very good. And then come on back down, and we'll do it one more time. Internally rotate, bring the arms up, shrug the shoulders, and then back down. Very good. Let's just bring the shoulders back up, forward and down and back and up and forward and down and back and up and forward and down let's do the other direction forward and back or up sorry and back and down and forward and up and back and down forward up and back 
and down. Very good. Let's come down onto the ground. <clears throat> All right. Bring the knees towards the chest. Very good. Now start to straighten that right leg and let it hover over the ground just a little bit. Lift the leg up to 30 degrees and then back into the chest. Straighten the left leg, let it just hover a little bit over the ground. Keep pulling this, the right knee towards the chest in opposition. Lift the left leg up and then bring the knee into the chest. Let's do it one more time each side. Bring that right knee in or right leg out, sorry. Let it hover over the floor, then lift it up. And then bring the knee into the chest. Now, if this is difficult, that's okay. It doesn't have to be anything amazing. All you're doing though is you're starting to activate these muscles. Over time, you'll notice it'll get easier because your brain will start connecting to the muscles. If it's challenging, it's because that there's very little connection to these muscles. So we need to work on that and then come back. Now keep hugging the knees in, bring the knees about halfway over, a little less than halfway actually to the right. Can you straighten the arms or the legs? <laughs> bring the knees back in, bring the knees back up into the chest. Do the same side again, bring the knees over, maybe a little less than halfway, straighten the legs. Now keep pulling the femur bones down, press the heels away, and then bring the knees in, and back. Bring the knees over to the left now. Good, pull the knees in, straighten the legs. And nice, now you're really getting into transverse abdominis. Bring the knees back in, and then come back up. Inhale, exhale, bring the knees over to the left, just a little less than halfway. Straighten the legs. Pull the leg bones down, Press the heels away and then come back. Very good, lower the legs down. Straighten the left leg, bring the right knee up about 90 degrees. Let the knee come out to the side. Very good, now straighten that leg so the leg is just hovering and then bring the knee or the foot towards the other foot still hovering, bring the knee back and pull the knee towards the chest. Bring the knee out and then straighten the leg. Bring the foot over towards the other foot slowly and then slowly bring the knee back. Be careful not to do these exercises fast. We're trying to slowly reconnect the brain to these muscles so that these muscles improve their ability to contract and contract on demand. Another way of saying that is that these muscles start to improve their ability to stabilize your body and support your joints through different ranges of motion. Bring the left knee towards the chest. Let that left knee come out. Straighten the leg and then slowly bring it back. Let it hover. Bring the knee towards the chest. Let the knee come out. Straighten the leg. And let the leg come back. Bring the knee in. And we'll do it one more time. Pull the knee in, let the knee come out. And then straighten the leg. And then bring the leg back. And pull the knee in, very good. We're gonna do one more thing. Roll over onto your stomach. This is our last one. Bring the hands down beside you and then lift everything up. Now really focus on engaging those lower back muscles as much as you can. Good, and then come on down. And inhale, come on up. Now we did all that shoulder stuff before. Bring the arms forward, about 45 degrees. Lift those thumbs up, lift them, lift them, Lift them and back down. Now again, this is probably hard for some of you. Lift up and bring the arms forward. Lift everything up. This will get easier, but if it's hard, it's because those muscles 
have lost their ability to contract properly. As you do this more, you'll get better at it. This time bring the arms to out to the sides, turn the palms forward and then up and squeeze the shoulder blades together as you lift the arms. Lift it, lift it, and back down. Very good. My friends, if you do that little short nine minute routine every day, you're gonna notice huge changes in your body. So keep at it, and over time, you will improve your range of motion, but you will also have stability in that range of motion, and that's, at the end of the day, what it's all about. Have a great morning, my friends.